The mass drug suspensions rocking Major League Baseball. We showed you that dramatic moment when Alex Rodriguez Alex, stepped up to the bat, got food in Chicago. He is vowing to fight his ban. ABC's Alex Perez is in Chicago and was at the game last night. It was quite a scene there, Alex. Good morning. Good morning, Robin. A-Rod will be back here today for game two of that three-game series, but his big return from hip surgery was completely eclipsed by his suspension. Alex Rodriguez. Booed by angry fans, A-Rod stepped to the plate overnight in Chicago under a cloud of suspicion and with a 211-game suspension hanging over his head. A-Rod gets a single on his first at bat. The highest-paid player in baseball struggled. Strike three in the locker room attempting to deflect questions about the controversy. It was a hard day today. You know, from this moment on, I want to focus on baseball and, uh, you know, play every game like uh, as, as do or die. After days of speculation, the three-time MVP was finally suspended by the league late Monday, benched through the end of the 2014 season, a potentially career-ending punishment, which came after allegations he used performance-enhancing drugs and then lied to baseball during the investigation. The last seven months has been... Uh, a nightmare. Twelve other players who accepted drug-related suspensions now forced to sit out 50 games apiece. But Rodriguez reportedly refused a deal and now says he will appeal the suspension, although he wouldn't explain why. If you didn't use PEDs in this reason, why don't you just say it? There'll be an opportunity to do all of that. Uh, I don't think that time is right now. Until an arbitrator rules on the appeal, Rodriguez is still in the game, but the suspension has changed the mind of many fans. Still, even with his future now up in the air, crowds are clamoring for a piece of a -Rod. Why was it important for you to get that ball? It's cool to have it, and I'll save it for the rest of my life. And there's a chance that arbitrator may not rule on this appeal until November, so that means A-Rod could still play the rest of the season. Josh? And it means we have a lot of time to discuss this, and so we shall. And to that end, we welcome a uh, friend of the program, ESPN's Jeremy Schapp. And, and Jeremy, uh, Evan Longoria, Tampa Bay Rays uh, third baseman, uh, tweeted this in part yesterday, saying it was a sad day, but ultimately today will be a day of infamy, but also a tremendous step in the right direction for the game we love. It is as surreal a day as we have seen in recent baseball history. What did you make of it all? Well, Longoria sums it up nicely. Th this is sad. You've got 13 guys who've been suspended for cheating, plus Ryan Braun a couple of weeks ago, who was the 2011 National League MVP. Rodriguez, one of the great players in the history of the game. Uh, but it's an historic day, and it's certainly a good day for Commissioner Bud Sealing, who has made this his mission late in his tenure to rid the game of steroids. He got religion on this late. He oversaw the game uh, when steroids took over and defiled the record book in the 1990s. Uh, uh, but he was able to suspend players without positive tests. That's the first time that's happened. This is a big step. And so we saw Alex Rodriguez step to the mic yesterday before his season debut, but would not answer direct questions as to whether he used performance-enhancing drugs. What did you make of that avoidance? That's Alex Rodriguez. Uh, you know, a Alex is someone uh, who over the years has had a problem uh, communicating directly with the fans. Uh, people have come to view him as inauthentic. And yesterday, the fact that he wouldn't even say that he didn't use drugs, even as he's appealing this 211-game historic suspension, spoke volumes. And again, he is going to play very quickly. How concerned is Alex Rodriguez about his legacy? Well, his legacy is shy. Uh, you know, it, it seems clear that the evidence here is overwhelming. The best he can hope for is that it gets reduced on procedural grounds, not on the evidence. He certainly has tens of millions of dollars to protect as well. Jeremy Schaaf, great to see him. Thank you.